So let's start with Kristen Yelich, Frank, and he just is so consistent, obviously, what we've seen. What do you like about Yelich and what he does with his swing? The main thing that sticks out with me with Kristen Yelich is, is his stance. It jumps to me right away. He's a 50-50 workable balance stance. I started my career with a 50-50 balance stance. Had tremendous success. I had to change later. You saw me open up a lot or move out a little bit because they consistently started to pound me inside 85% of the time. Mm -hmm. But right here, this guy's tall, uses his leverage. He can hit a ball from line to line out of the ballpark. And another thing about this guy, he's tall. And he has great leverage, and he uses it, uses it perfectly. Switch, why don't you show us? Give us a little feel. Yeah, yeah, I think the Fellow one thing lefty. that Frank's kind of talking about when they're talking about the 50-50 stance, what he means is the difference between your left leg and your right leg starts in that 50-50 athletic position. The one thing that I really appreciate most about Christian Yelich is really his, his ability to finish his swing, right? And what I mean by that is if you want to hit homers to left center and to center and to right center, you need to be able to finish that swing. And what Yelich does such a tremendous job of is finishing that swing, getting that full follow-through. You're not going to see him flailing at pitches out here. You're going to see him compact within his body. Body, using that leverage like you talk about the best way possible. His legs in that good stride, that power L on the backside. And when you're six foot four and you got hands like this, right, mm -hmm. he's coming into his body. And that's why I think you see the home run numbers raise and raise. And he's consistent. He does that every time. But I, I know, Frank, you noticed that there's a little difference with Cody Bellinger's swing this year, right? The biggest change for me and Cody Bellinger this year, he's let the ball get deeper in his zone. He's got more upright. He's using his leverage. But his swing looks, for me, 50% shorter. He's always had the best finish in, the ba in baseball since he's been here. But now watching him let that ball travel deep into the zone, it's like a sharp karate chop. <laughs> Straight through the zone with the best finish in the game. This is why this guy's having tremendous success. For me, he's more of a 60-40 guy, 70-30 guy, because he opened it up and he's tall. But the bottom line for me is this guy is dropping the hammer straight down with that excellent finish, and you're seeing tremendous uh, home run ability, extra base ability. This guy could end up with 50 home runs this year. Mm. Yeah, there's no doubt. I, I think the one thing we saw in the playoff last year get kind of exposed on some certain pitches, and I think the one thing that I really like about Cody is not only his ability to make adjustments and evolve his swing over time, but right now I think what I like most about him is his lower half, right? It seems so much more calm. Young kids think that, like, if you create this huge leg kick and you get all this motion, that's going to cause the power. That's not it, man. What causes power is hitting the ball right here on the barrel. And as long as you can keep that head still, which I think Cody's doing such a tremendous job, sometimes you'll see his bat flat sometimes you'll see it up a little bit right now but as of here you're seeing him walk into his stride right you're seeing him load and walk right into that and when you have that short to it long through it motion man I'm telling you what that's the reason why he's hitting around 450 right now it's working uh, Bellinger with 10 home runs Yelich with 11 but Yelich isn't just hitting home runs okay he's mm -hmm. got he's got all this magic going on right now because there's another side to him okay these two sisters six and four years old brought this sign to a Brewers game back at the end of March and of course Yelich does hit a home run that day. And so the Brewers, after that, got in touch with the family, and Yelich surprised them <laughs> with a dog. <laughs> and the family's watching batting practice, and here comes Yelich with a puppy. Are you serious? Tell them to kick her after this puppy, though. Come on. I mean, that is great. You got to so, show what happened at the ballpark that night. Frank, also a fan of dogs. Oh, says, I love puppies. <laughs> Especially that night that guy went to the ballpark and hit three home runs after giving away that puppy. Exactly I right. I was giving away puppies every Monday. Frank thrives at Bark in the Park <laughs> night. You know what I'm saying? He does. Also right. peeps. Also peeps. <laughs> he doesn't like them. He likes Not them. Not my jam. He likes them. <laughs>